Alright guys, part 2 of the video, how to replace back the bell to that Cummins ISX engine, part number 62374. So, I removed the old one, and then now I'm just gonna replace the new one right now. I already put it around the fan clutch, down to the um, engine pulley, the main pulley down here. And then it's come all out up here to the tensioner and down again to this um, to this pump here. I believe this is the um, this is the power steering pump. So once you do that, now you're gonna have to use the same tool again. To, um, you're just gonna pull on the tensioner eh? and then from there pull up on it once you do that it's gonna give you free free uh, slack to, to be able to reach the belt over the alternator some people may do it different whatever easier for you guys but I'm um, here that's how I do it so let me set the phone down for a little bit and then I'm gonna be pulling up to put the belt on there all right guys I can see this. All right, here we go. Okay. Damn it! I dropped the phone. All right. You gotta make sure it's on all the way before you move the engine. Before you start the engine, so. Alright, y'all see that? See? Yeah, there you go. It's on now. You can remove your tools. Alright. So, I wanna make sure all around the pulley that it sit on there properly. So that when you start the engine, it don't just pop off. So yeah, um, AC condenser is in place. Now I'm just gonna refill the system with this can. I got them from Walmart, $23 each. I um, may probably have to use three and a half of them. And then this is the valve up here where it's gonna go in, alright? So let's start the engine first and see how my bell sound. sounds like. I'm gonna turn on the AC and then right now you, you can see the compressor clutch it's not turning or anything but once I start putting that free hang in there it's just gonna automatically kick off alright 